Welcome back to Mycology Exploration. We just got finished straining, draining the water out of this substrate. This is our super simple 50% cocoa, 50% vermiculite with just a little bit of gypsum for pH balance. And we have videos for the substrate and many of you have asked us to show you what the substrate looks like after we have drained, strained the water out. We use a pillowcase and a big bucket outside. And we actually use the runoff, the water from this in our garden. And so this is what it looks like right before we birth these grain jars. So this is our WBS wild bird seed jars, completely colonized here. And we will be adding four of these jars to one of these buckets. So we have this simple storage box and of course everything gets sterilized and we use 91% alcohol to clean everything and this is the substrate after it has gone through the pasteurization process of bringing it to 140 degrees. Again we have videos on this so again this is what it looks like before we give birth where you put your WBS, your grain jars, to the substrate. So we'll be opening these jars and we actually used slurries. So we had wild bird seed and we used the syringe ports here on top, the modified, modified lid on top with the breathable tape and we used syringes with our slurries. And so this is from slurry and it colonized really quickly. And we'll be opening the jars, breaking up the wild bird seed here into our substrate and we'll have an even mix. And then we'll be popping the top back on while it colonizes once more in the bucket. Before we go to a fruiting top for the fruiting process. So again, this is what the super simple 50-50 substrate where you can grow so many different types of mushrooms. And if you're concerned with side pens at all, you can put some tape around the side, paint tape, duct tape, whatever you'd like if you're concerned about that. We always use buckets and this is what this process looks like. So I'll be putting gloves on, I'll be sterilizing, breaking this up into the substrate. We love hearing from you in the comments. Thank you so much to all of you that have hit the subscribe button and thank you to all of you that have given us a super thanks or bought us a cup of coffee. Thank you so much for your love and your support. Thank you for liking our videos and we'll see you in the next one.